What's up guys, Fady here, and welcome back to my channel. A lot on this week, starting from Friday to Sunday, will be a lot of tutorials to catch up with Dark RP and other server content. Why am I doing this? Because you guys seem to like them and have a lot of problems with them. So what is this video going to be focusing on? This video is going to be focusing on how to change the game mode for your server since a lot of people have issues with that. First of all, you're going to want to make your way to your server directory. So mine's in my local disk, Zombie RP, which is my Call of Duty Zombie server, hint, hint. Gary's Mod, Game Modes. Now this is where you're going to want to place your game modes. Now if you're downloading a game mode off of Steam Workshop, such as Gary's Mod Stranded, you want to make sure it's a game mode. You can read down here. I will say type game mode and slash add on maybe some other things but as long as it has game mode in there you're good to go so in order to extract this you want to go ahead and have gmod which is down below in the description so you want to go ahead and open gmod so we're going to type gmod gmod extractor.exe going to go ahead and open that we're going to click open browse and we're going to make our way to our gary's mod so we're going to go to our hard drive Program files 86 or just program files. Mine's in 86. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod again. Add ons. And here we go. Now we're in the Gary's Mod add on directory. I'll go ahead and type in Gary's Mod Stranded. So it's called Gary's Mod Stranded or whatever your game mode is. You can go ahead and type it. So Gary's Mod Stranded right here. It'll be a .gma file. Go ahead and double click it. It should bring you to something like this. Click on it and click select. Go ahead and click extract all. And this is going to extract it to where you want it to. And you want it to extract it to your Gary's Mod game modes folder in your server. So go to your server directory. Mine's in my local disk. Zombie RP. Gary's Mod. And go to your game modes. Make a new folder and call it whatever you want. So I'm just going to call this stranded. Go ahead and make sure it's highlighted, click select folder, and wait for this to be done. Once it's done, go ahead and click OK, close, and close out of Gary's Mod Extractor. Now you notice in your Zombie RP server, once you go to your game modes, you will see Stranded. And in there, you have the, you might have these files, or it might just be the game mode. If it looks somewhat like this and has a game modes folder, you want to go ahead and click on game modes, and you'll see GM Stranded. That's the real game mode, because that's the real game mode right there. And these are just backup files, so you can go ahead and open game modes and drag GM Stranded or whatever yours is to your real game modes folder. You could go ahead and delete the folder you made that's called Stranded. And you got GM Stranded right here, which is Gary's Mod Stranded, the real game mode. So you can tell by it's the real game mode because they'll have GM Stranded.txt or whatever it is, info.txt or something, change log, entities, game mode. That's how you know it's the real game mode. How to change it, you may ask. You right click. Rename, you go ahead and copy that, go to your zombie RP, right click it and click edit. And right where it says game mode, if you don't have that, if you don't have game mode, you always can do plus game mode and then go ahead and place GM strand there. File, save, and when you run your server, it will be on that. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to drop a like and comment your issues down below so I can make a video on your issues. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.